welcome back to my channel. So let's begin with this particular episode. Most of my 20s I spent without having a safe haven or sanctuary that I can call home. And for me as an individual, I found that to be very important. When I was creating my home, I was actually pretty homeless. I mean, I was living homeless in a more glamorous way because I did have a car to live out of. I did have friends that I stayed on couches. I was on air mattresses, lived out of boxes. You name it, I've done it. In creating my home, you can see a lot of thought went into the place that I rest my head. Out of the house, the bedroom is one of the most a complimented, most glamorous place out of my whole house because I put most thought into it since I did not have my own bed. And I was always imagining, man, I would love to wake up and see the outside and know that I'm in a safe place. I love having a home that I can call my own where I can be as creative as I want, lazy as I please and motivated to pursue this lifestyle even more. Now that I have my home, there are many things that I am actually going to change. And stay tuned for that. You're going to love what I have in mind. Living in my tiny home has taught me many, many things. The main things that it has taught me is my relationship to actual materialistic things and money and how it's affected most of my decisions in life. It has taught me my time that I spent indoors, the time that I want to spend outdoors. Li going tiny has brought out this desire to figure out a career that can revolve around me being here more to be able to continue uh, getting my creative outlet as much as possible and feeding into that more so than just part-time and it being the other way around. Instead, working part-time as a crew member and full-time as a creative individual that I've always desired to be. Can't explain to you how much I really enjoy being at home it's this feeling of um, as soon as I see it, that's how I feel. It's like, oh, this is what I work hard for. Feeling that I get, knowing that I am here, that I have my home and that I am in a good place. I hope I answered the question of whether or not I enjoy my home. I re I personally do. I am also a person that lives out of their tiny home full time. This isn't my part time gig. This isn't my camping ground. This is me every day. Of this episode, I want you to understand that I truly enjoy this journey. And what I like about all of this is that you, the viewer, I've gotten more and more and I continue to get more and more followers that I have never met and the fact is is that I'm inspiring you in some I'm impacting you in some way shape or form to want to follow me and to want to hear my story because this is probably going to be the moment where you might pick up your stuff and say hey I want to go tiny or I'm going to go tiny she did it I might as well too. Figure out, wow, she figured out a balance for her. What's my balance? That's my key goal of it all is to figure out what in which way can you enjoy your lifestyle. It's not necessarily the Kim Kardashian way and it's not necessarily going tiny, but figure it out for you. I did. So all in all, I do enjoy my home. There are ups and downs that come with it, which I will go into that in a different episode. But overall, I am very fortunate to have a home that I can call my own and I can take anywhere with me. I do want to point out that I did get a control, but the control doesn't work for video.
there's that. Stay tuned for the upcoming episodes.